New research is shedding light on the long term impacts of universal pre kindergarten. As we've been reporting, implementing the program is a top priority in many of our local school districts. Now, the research is adding to the debate on whether or not a half or a full day is more effective for children. CBS News correspondent Nikki Batiste shows us what the recent study found. The blue line, you're going to curve. Five year old Jalissa Cruz can write her name. Something she couldn't do before coming to Little Lamb Preschool in Vineland, New Jersey. Her mother, Petrina, is a single parent. How much do you pay for Jalissa to come here? Zero. Students like Jalissa get free, full day, high quality education at Little Lamb. The number two. New Jersey is one of 43 states where some children can attend state funded preschool at no cost. Seven other states have universal pre K, free for all families regardless of income. Students at both ends of the achievement spectrum benefit and benefit substantially in the longer run from participating in a high quality pre K program. Dr. Bill Gormley is a professor at Georgetown's McCourt School of Public Policy. He authored a recent study that shows full day pre-K can lead to higher math scores and honors courses in middle school. He also says students who take part in a full day program are less likely to repeat a grade. That's an important outcome because grade retention is associated with a lot of negative outcomes later on in life. It's more. Teacher Amy Tommaso says the benefits of a full day of learning are endless for her students, including Jalissa. Her math skills see a huge difference in her and also a lot of confidence and her self-esteem as well. What differences have you seen in her? Her drawing, her cleaning up after she plays with toys, and her manners. If we're letting the kids be the judge. If you like preschool, raise your hand. Pre-K is getting an A. Nikki Batiste for CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Now it is up to the local school districts offering universal pre-K, whether it's a full or a half day. Here in Philadelphia, Mayor Kenny has imposed a tax on sugary drinks to fund the city's expanded universal pre-K program.